In Havana, shops open only in the late morning or early afternoon. Mr. Perry's shop is aptly named Casa del Tabaco. It's a cigar paradise for the visitor who can discover a museum of cigar rings, labels, and books. Mr. Perez immediately starts working. He rolls his cigars himself in the traditional Cuban way, that of the city's biggest manufacturers. Partagas, founded in 1845, are one of the most famous manufacturers. Then there are the Upmans. To truly appreciate these great cigars, one must always keep in mind the time and care that was taken in their making. A large part of the city earns its living from cigar production. Those who test the famous cigars are at the end of a long chain which supports thousands of families. The making of a cigar requires two to three years of work. In the same spirit as a fine wine, a cigar follows certain principles of enjoyment. The best tobacco is grown in the Pina del Rio region, in western Cuba. The cigar mellows and comes to life with time. After harvesting, drying, fermenting, maturing, sorting, rolling, and boxing. Handsome cigar boxes with their often baroque graphics, expressed in naive imagery, are true works of art. Each brand has its own specific sign, a specific color, a special feeling. By means of its decoration, a box of cigars calls to mind the cigar's qualities, pleasures, delights, and the art of living well. 